slob is what started all of this. Yes. Sideline out of bounds. Yes. You mm-hmm. could just as easily do SOB and make it a little less yeah. slobby, but there you are. And then as Alex asked, is baseline out of bounds play blob? Yes, it is. Yeah, so I saw Louis Zassman uh, tweet about that this morning. Yes, um, he was very excited we're doing this his, this segment. By the way, uh, I told him it's coming. I sent I sent him the list of. Uh, I gave him I gave him a little test run. Yeah. with him in the media room. Okay. Um, okay, so we'll keep it with plays for now. So you might hear the term slob or blob or, or see it written more more often than not. Mm-hmm. Um, you'll also see ATO. Yeah, yeah, quite yeah. often. That's the uh, that's the after uh, that's the after timeout. Right. Play nice. that they nice. drop. Nice. nice. Doc Rivers was well known for uh, being an ATO wizard, I believe. He got a lot of props for that. Uh, did Nick Nurse get ATO props? Yes. Uh, the, okay. po- the point of Lewis's piece, actually, uh, yeah. that was up on Raptors Republic today, is actually last year the Raptors led the league in efficiency in slob and blob situations. Mm. Um, and a lot of those will come after a timeout because after a timeout, you have to inbound the ball, right? Yes. So um, yeah. that is not... Well, not if you're playing the Chicago Bulls and yeah. Alex Caruso is defending them. Yeah. Um, it's not a perfect way to evaluate coach play design and things like that. Yeah. Obviously, it's personnel-based. It depends on who the defense is. Mm. But over time, if a guy is consistent or, or a woman in the WNBA, if they are consistently near the top in ATO effectiveness, that's a... It's a decent idea that they script good plays coming out of time. Yeah. So the way you guys look at the ATOs is like just looking at like how many points are being generated. Like Like out of of those plays per possession. Okay. I like this. I'm going to rank all these stats. Um, I I give this stat a. uh, Well, ATO is not a stat to be clear. I I, I give this concept uh, an A minus. Okay. Because I think it's a good evaluation of uh, what the coach does. All right. Yeah. Um, And just. for right now, this is like a one one hundred dollar question on who wants to be a millionaire. <laughs> the uh, the Toronto Raptors right now are not doing so hot in terms of after timeout or, or baseline out of bounce plays. They're doing pretty well on slob, okay, but mm. they are not doing okay. particularly well uh, well, after in, timeouts. In from the from the base, <laughs> yeah, not from the side. Okay, All right. um, okay. So as part of the uh, as part of the play, the coach. Draws up. He may have someone PNR. PNR. Um, bro, come on. What? Just man. the pick and roll? Yeah. Pick and roll. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, we're we're. Why we're isn't gonna... it PAR? Yeah. Oh, P. You could put. Some people do it with a little N, and some people uh, do it with an ampersand. I, I think you should call it PAR. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Right. Um. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna move around a little bit. We'll come back to some yeah, plays yeah. after. Let's let's. let's, let's... Clear, Alex has seen basketball and has played basketball. Let's yeah. do some crazy ones. PNR is okay. too no, crazy. I'm, I'm ready to go. Like level. Okay. I'm ready to level up. Yeah. Let's try to go a little faster. Okay. Um, level so up. let's start. Let's go stats, but we'll start with some basic stats. A stat that most, a lot of people only care about. PPG. PPG. What mm. points per game? Nice. Okay. 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 But nice. FGA. No, I feel like I'm being. I feel like I'm being treated We're as a ramping up. We're school. ramping up. <laughs> They're supposed what to, is this, my G1 supposed test? to be a flow to this. All right. So you got PPG. What's yeah. FGA? FGA. Field goal attempts. <laughs> okay. What about SGA? SGA. Shea Gill just Alexander. Nice. Nice. Yeah. nice. nice. Uh, all right. Um, so. Oh, damn. I'm on a 5-0 run right Yeah. Now. You're good. Call a timeout, man. Draw up an ATL, bro. Yeah. I might mix in some players like that, though. So glad you were on your toes. Um, I'm sweating. PA. PA? Uh, I don't know. Public announcer? <laughs> no. What is it? Give you a hint. I, I don't think this was even a stat until you started referencing it on every show. Oh, potential assists. There you go. There uh, we go. Not, not a well-known one, but yeah, uh, yeah there you go. I um, like the potential assists. PPP. PPP is points per possession. Right. So when nice, we're evaluating nice. an offense. Also, I or... believe those are the small loans that uh, Jeannie Buss was applying <laughs> for as well. <laughs> and Tillman Fertitta. PPP loans. All yeah. right. Um, uh, let's go to some more advanced stats. Okay, let's go. For now. Whew. EPM. EPM. Something per minute. Um, uh, uh, <laughs> efficiency per minute? No. Ah, uh, I referenced no, no, no. it yesterday on the show in terms of OG Ananobi's uh, defensive impact. I, I was busy texting Dennis Schroeder's people. Okay. Um, mm. E. E. Yeah. Lifeline me. Will. Give me a little uh, hand here. So this is one of those statistics that's like a catch-all box score statistic. So like similar to PER. I don't know if PER is on the list. I'm sorry. Okay. It's not, it. but that's player efficiency rating. Yeah. E, I don't know, man. I can just think of like, I got succession so, on my brain. So it's like earnings per minute. Um, yeah. It's not per minute. As It's not per minute. Yeah, get off the per minute. Oh, my God. The PM is um, 
usually the last column of the box score. Okay. It, oh, 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 um, uh, something plus minus. Yeah. Yeah. He is but estimated. What, yeah. Estimated. Yeah. estimated. What's plus. estimated? I need this explained. So it basically the way that any of these catch all metrics are going to work is yeah. they are going to take your on off impact. So how the team does when you're on the floor, how the team does when you're off the floor. Yeah. Bake in some other things like what teammates were you playing with? Um, yeah. Who are you playing you know, against? Yeah. Who are you playing against? And yeah. then they also use box score components. So, um, you know, your points, your field goal, yeah. your turnovers. So and there's stuff a like whole that. formula that yeah, calculates Yeah, and they're, they're very, estimated. and then those are regressed against, you know, okay. league averages or league baselines and stuff like that. So where the estimated comes in is what these metrics are trying to do is, yes, describe what has happened. Yeah. But most of them are also, if you played a game tonight, yeah. what would you expect that player's impact to be? So oh, that's where the like, estimated comes it's, in. It's like predictive. You could also, yeah. yes. So you could also use XPM, a small X being <laughs> expected Plus right. minus, uh, if you want. Yeah, this um, is the category where no, I start. These stats having AKAs is killing yeah, yeah. me. <laughs> this, is, this is where I start not liking it. Yeah, AKA, X, small X, uh, Okay, oh. so you're definitely not going to like then Raptor. Yeah, see. Oh, yeah. Raptor. I'm going to need you to give me like two of the words. <laughs> Use it in a sentence. No, no. I, I'm a, I, give me two and then I can try to fill in the other four. You're not going to fill it in. I, give I me just two. Tell you. Give me two. Okay. Give me two. The P and T are player tracking. So this particular one makes use of the NBA's newer player tracking data that we have access to on NBA.com. Yeah. So RA You're player just straight tracking. Up cheating. No, no, no. I'm I'm writing it down so I can see. Okay. It. RA player tracking and then OR. Yes. Real adjusted player tracking offensive. I don't know, man. Yeah. I don't you think it miss what you think it miss. <laughs> Tell me. So you're on the you're on the right track you for some other ones on with the adjusted. Um, this is a 538 one, and they obviously came up with a convoluted name just so they could call yeah. it Raptor. Yeah. It is robust algorithmic player tracking on off rating. Oh, man. So it's, this is for each individual player to have a Raptor rating. Not anymore because it's dead now. Like 538 no. doesn't exist. Yeah. But for a while on the 538 part of, of ESPN, you could go and you could see someone's Raptor. It would be broken down by offense and defense. And same idea as estimated yeah. plus minus. It's trying to measure the impact that you have. Um, I prefer EPM. It's the one that year over year has graded out um, yeah. the best among those. And I think it was Shane Young wrote a piece where he talked to executives around the league about which one of these they would. And, and the answer for the most part was like, don't use any of them. They're all flawed. They're all context dependent. That, that, but if you're going to use one, you use EPM or yeah. Darko. Yeah. Darko is tough too. I'm going to need two of those words again. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, well, you said one of them last time adjusted. Okay. Is the so a. D adjusted. Yep. Um, RKO. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So give Randy me one Orton's more word. Finisher. Give me yeah. one more word. Um, give me the O. It's the best segment ever. Give me the O. I'm going to give you the, the K because the <laughs> there's no way you're going to. Okay, give me the K. Uh, give me the K. The K is Kalman. Um, <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I'm just going to give you this one. There's no way you're going to. Could you spell that? What's Kalman? K A L M A N. Okay. Uh, is this like a regression a... technique? <laughs> yes, it's a it's a filtering technique. Yep. Um. It's so a... this is Darko is daily adjusted and regressed Kalman optimized oh my God. player projection. So what are you looking at when you look at someone's Darko? So it's a similar thing. Darko Raptor and EPM as, as well as RAPM <laughs> or any of those ones are all trying to come up with the same thing, and it's how many points per 100 possessions that you're on the floor to yeah. help your team. Mm. They all have convoluted names because they want to stand out and they want people to remember them. And it's right. funny, like the very first one of these was Nate Silver back in the day at Baseball Prospectus, well before 538 or something like that, yeah. came up with one of the original public-facing baseball projections was Pakoda. And mm. what Pakoda stands for doesn't really matter, but he picked some obscure baseball player who hadn't played much and was like, you know what? I can make a name out of this. Right. So yeah. it's the same thing with Raptor and Darko. There was a Carmelo too, right? Yes, there was a Carmelo. I don't yeah. remember what it was, but it, yeah. it must have fallen off. There was, was like a the LeBron. Pre before Darko was, or not yeah. before Darko, uh, before Raptor was Carmelo. Okay. Because right. there's also 538. Yes, that was yeah. a different methodology. I think that one was okay. more because the ELO in Carmelo is the yes. same thing basketball reference uses where basically it asks you, is it'll ask everyone who comes on, is Alex better than Will? Is Will better than Blake? Is right. Blake better than Alex? Based on those answers, they can then rank guys similar to what we were doing with Scotty yesterday. 
where yeah, it's like, yeah, hey, yeah, would sure. you trade him for Frowns? No, yeah. then Scotty should be ahead. Would you trade him for Paolo? Okay. No, then he should be ahead. So right. um, that's what that one is trying to do. These are all just different ways of trying to get at the same thing. How many? How much right. impact are you making over the course of a regular game? Yeah. Okay. None like of that. them are. You don't want to use any of them as like, hey, this is the the only argument I'm making. But if you're looking at something like all defensive. And all of these stats with their different methodologies agree, hey, OG's one of the best defenders in the league. That maybe tells mm. you something. Right, right, right. All right. Let's uh let's loosen this up a little bit. It's not loose enough? Yeah. Um DNPCD. Uh, uh did not play coach's decision. There you yeah. go. I give myself a lot of DNPCDs on this. Yeah. Show, if so I was I coaching you guys instead of coaching against you guys on yeah. November twenty fifth. It'd be it'd be there oh, as well. Oh wow! Come on. Um, okay. DMP the DMP you CD guys. You can't even you can't even DMP anybody. Yeah, I think I got a six now. Oh, okay, they're DMP. <laughs> they're their <fans. laughs> Okay, Nick Nerds. Yeah. Um, this one is no longer used, but at one point, a and defunct stat. It's not a stat. It's acronym. These aren't all stats. Okay. Okay. Let's go. DMP CD is not a stat. Let's go. NBDL. NBDL. Is this a league? NBDL. Yes. N. N B D L. Uh, so like NBA, but yeah. DL. Oh uh, no, uh, Will man, help me out here, brother. This is the G League, wasn't it? The G League. What was it? What did the D stand for, though? Development. Yeah, the National Basketball Development oh, League. That's it. And right. I use this one to set you up for what does the G stand for now? Ooh, it's not development. Oh, man. Gatorade. It's not development. <laughs> it is Gatorade. I got it. And yeah. the sponsorship. Yes. So Gatorade Ooh. became like the presenting sponsor of the G League a show couple some, years yeah, ago. Show some Mark Valeno, man. Let's go. Cool. And on the initial press releases and stuff like that. And I actually yeah. I have like a gym bag or something like this. or Maybe yeah. a gym towel with it. The G in G League <laughs> is actually the Gatorade logo. Oh. So they so they could have been the P League if they did the, the Powerade. Powerade. Yeah, yeah. 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 It could have been the B League if BioSteel was uh is it worth the b league yeah g league sounds good though it does sound good i do like g league also for whatever reason d league sounded derogatory to me you think so like d maybe because like d is a grade or something like that it's like a bad grade yeah okay okay i like that nbdl nice nice all right let's go back to some actions on the floor that you might see this is one that's come up a lot this year with the new raptors offense dho DHO, that's a dribble handoff nice that is a dribble handoff proud of you um that's uh that's bam metabal signature play right there so instead of a dribble handoff, uh, you're coming down the floor. Yeah. And you may pujit. P-U-J-I-T. Oh, this is the, the Kyle always used to do this. Pull up jumper in transition. Yes. Wow. Or pull yeah. up three in transition yeah, pull up if you three. prefer the P-U-3-I-T. Yeah. yeah. Unbelievable. Uh, I'm I know. Proud of you, man. Will's actually kind of impressed. You a ball knower. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, so you go to take that look. This is like it, my interview. The, <laughs> yeah, we're actually interviewing because uh, we're on the show. <laughs> the, the, you go to take that shot. The Where's look's not Luke there. Win at, man? You, you pass it to a Tomorrow. teammate who's CNS. C N and S. Catch S. and shoot? Yeah. yeah. All right. I don't like that you guys are using the N. Like it's and. So it's, it's C. The, or the I know. I don't, like, and. I don't, I don't know like how that. to. I don't like that. It should be C A S. No, I think I'm just not pronouncing and. Right. Oh, Probably. yeah, yeah. No, I got you. I got you. Um, yeah. Although I have seen PNR, P, little yeah, N. Man, uh, I thought I'm, it was always PNR. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm racking up Ws, man. All yeah, right, you're, go. you're good. All right. Uh, TS percentage. True shooting percentage. Okay. Just don't ask me to explain the formula, okay. though. True shooting yeah. percentage is, is like field goal percentage, but it's adjusted for the fact that threes count for more and free throws count, too. Yes. Yeah. Your they, field goal percentage is yeah. nothing if you just live at the free throw line. It's the James Harden stat. They should have TS percentage in the NFL right now, too. It's the Taylor Swift percentage. Um, for there you go. Games. It's hey, Travis yeah. Kelsey's is through the roof. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Uh, I like EFG that. percentage. EFG is the uh, uh, the effective field goal. Yeah. So Damn. same as true shooting, but doesn't account for free throws. Damn. So this is you, just you might get this job. This is just your producer. your offense. Do I know ball? Yeah. Uh, Do I fake no ball. L O C EFG percentage. L O C <laughs> effective field goal. That's a wrap. L O C is not an acronym. It's a it's short for something. L O C like location. Yeah. Okay. So okay. you take all the uh, shots okay. you allow, you and what is the effective field goal percentage you'd expect? Yeah. So this is a, lets us measure. <laughs> hey, how efficient are the shots you're taking? Yeah. Or how efficient are the shots you're giving right. up? And are you hitting better than we expect or worse? Than we too expect? many numbers. Too many yeah. things going on. Well, this is why I wouldn't use all these at once, but it's a just, segment. Just want to watch ball. All right. Uh, <laughs> this one's a little more old school. Okay. P I T P. P I T P. What is this? A fifty cent song? Um, P I T P. Points in the paint. There you go. Nice. Yeah. 
Nice. Uh, all right, CP3. I don't know what you know about me. What? CP3. CP3, like Chris Paul? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Actually, it's CP0. Yeah. Is he wearing zero now? No, because oh, he has oh. no rings. Oh, uh, come sorry, on. Sorry. Come on, come on. CB4. Uh, Chris Bosh? Yes, but yeah. do you do you know what it's referencing? Yeah, yeah. CB4. Other than his, his name. CB4, is, that, uh, is, is that the... Is that New Jack City? It's yeah. not. Uh, yeah. It was like a mockumentary... Like, think straight out of Compton, the movie, but a mockumentary version back in the 90s. Damn. Um, with no, Chris Rock that. as the lead. Okay, Chris. It was a Chris Rock character. Yeah. Uh, right. Shaq's in it as well. Yeah, Shaq was in everything. Still is. Yeah. <laughs> Printer ink jet. 